Hi there, this is Cassandra. I'm a riffle in time and I'm so glad you're here. This is a long overdue deck collection update video. I have three original deck collection videos and then I think I have one update since those came and it's been a while. Uh, update number two was necessary. I've actually moved a couple of the decks that should be in this video along already. So when a deck does not fit, I find a new home for it. And I get quite a few decks in because if you don't know, A Riffle on Time is, is my deck shop. And I do research by bringing decks in and spending time with them to see if they're a good fit. So I, I get a lot of decks in and we have a lot to go through. So I'm gonna jump right in. These first few decks are kind of just like honorable mentions. Um, I've either shown them already in a previous video or I sh I've shown another edition of them and I just wanted to mention quickly that they're in the shop or they're new to my collection. So first we're going to do the Moon Baby Tarot. Now I've shown the first edition of this before. I do want to show you the orange box. This is the second edition here. And then these edges. This is the big change for the second edition, and I actually have passed along my first edition. Will you focus on these green edges? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I've passed along my first edition, and now I have the second edition actually in the shop. So I was very excited when I saw that on Kickstarter and immediately backed it for the shop. Also, the She-Wolf Tarot. Now I have the fourth edition with the holographic box in the shop, but this is my think, third edition. And then I have the Oak, Ash, and Thorn mini <laughs> edition in the shop. I'm out of stock of the full size edition, but I do have the minis in. And then last is, I've not actually shown this particular copy before, but I got the pocket edition and the Gentle Tarot Bundle Edition. This comes with a guidebook in the shop. Um, this is like the full size, like first edition, but in that cute little bag that is specific to the bundle. So those are all my honorable mentions. Next, we're gonna get into new decks in the shop. Now this first one, I only have a single copy left in the shop, but I'm hoping to restock, so I still want to show it. This is the Witch's Tarot. Now, this is actually one of the few full photography decks I have, and like She-Wolf, <laughs> um, it does contain a lot of nudity. So if that is not something you're interested in, this wouldn't be a deck for you, but I think it's really beautifully and tastefully done. Um, and also, I'm gonna show you like very mild pictures. There's gonna be no full nudity in, in these pictures, but the editing on these photos is just very, it takes it to a new level. Um, I think honestly, if you saw the pictures themselves, they would have probably been enough to make a beautiful deck, but I see all that went into curating these images for the specific cards. And uh, I really love it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the rose petal finish, they have black edges, black backs. Ah, they're just beautiful. Um, the one thing I will say with a black rose petal finish, uh, you wanna wash your hands before you use the deck or you'll put fingerprints on your deck like I just did, but I don't mind. Next up, we're going to do the Magical Nature Tarot. This deck, like um, Smoke, Ash, and Embers, and Oak, Ash, and Thorn, uh, was a sustainable print. So that's like really exciting to find new decks that are doing sustainable printing. Um, even the original artwork was done with uh, inks made out of actual plants. <laughs> uh, I think it was like 20 or 25 different plants went into the coloration. And it's so cool because it looks like you could feel the like raised pieces of the image, but you can't, you can't actually physically feel it. It's just from where the original artwork, but God, is this deck, um, something else. We ha next have the Heart's Eye Oracle. Now, I was so excited to get this deck in the shop. Um, oh, I love the fairies. 
it feels great. It's that rose petal. It. I love the colorways. I love. Oh, I love the stack. I love the the choice in words. Oh, it just feels really special. Let's stop flipping through. Anything. I can't go through every card. Um, next up, um, I'm actually not sure. I thought I had shown this before, but it wasn't on the list. This is the Threadbound Oracle. If you didn't see the actual book, like box is probably one of the coolest I've ever seen like a deck come. Ugh. And it like looks like when you open up, it's like this is the page to the book. I love that. And it's the same creator. Um, so that if you've seen the numinous before, these images look like they fit right in. And so obviously it makes a beautiful pairing. <laughs> um, it has like different suits too, almost like it's doing a little less than, uh, like tarot, but it, uh, it's like, d it's doing its own thing. And I really, I do love the colors so much from the numinous tarot and it was just like, an obvious yes to get the local deck. <laughs> and again, some of my, I would say this is my favorite presentation of a box from any deck because it's just so unique. Everyone I've ever shown it to is like absolutely obsessed with it. Then we have the Endless Oracle. This is another deck by Eric. Um, I have the paper, Paper Oracle the Normand, and then I'm out of stock currently, but I normally carry the Ink Witch. Um, this is the new Oracle deck that just got uh, through its Kickstarter phase, and it is a Miriorama, if I'm saying that correctly, which is an endless possibilities of panoramas. <laughs> and so, like, you can fit the cards together like a scene. And the I really love the guidebook for it because it gives you so much information um, in general about like the choices and what the card could stand for, but also using it with other cards. It's like if it's in a spread, this could be a meaning for it, which I find so cool. Ugh. It was really cool to watch this come together too because I watched on um, IG Lives of Eric drawing these cards. so. That was even more special. Then we have the Tarot of the Holy Spectrum Infinity Edition. And I couldn't have been more excited for this to come out this year. Um, if you do care about fingerprints, this is a deck that will um, leave fingerprints. So wash your hands. And also you're given a cloth, a microfiber cloth with it. But that is something I'm not worried about myself and the colors of the infinity edition are perfect now this cardstock is very different from the original cardstock of terror of the holy spectrum so if you have the first edition the normal edition this is very different this is a glossy and i think it's because of the edges and the backing that it had to be such a different cardstock um, but uh, it is beautiful I actually, it's funny because certain cards, like I prefer um, from one edition versus the other, but I think I find that most of my favorite come from this edition, which is, uh, I didn't think was gonna happen, but I really, really enjoy. There were some revisions kind of like in some of the cards which i thought were really cool um changes maybe not revisions because i don't think there's anything wrong with them in the first place but we're, we're different choices made and i think it's just it's beautiful Ugh. like here here's a perfect example um i already love the awakened um, or awakening card versus of judgment, but having the like background be the face was really cool. Um, I just realized I've shown you too many, Ugh, but I don't want to stop. Um, 
let me just let me just throw those right there i such a beautiful deck such a beautiful deck and again i really love tarot of the holy spectrum anyways which i also offer in the shop just the the original edition um next is actually the next two decks are the um two newest decks in the shop we're gonna do the your wise animal body this is the newest serpent fire deck um the newest deck by devony and i have really really been enjoying this um it is a nervous system healing tool. It's an oracle deck that has really been a great part of my practice. I'm starting to, I really love the guidebook. It gives you some questions, some information about um, where you're at, and then a little thing to do as well. Like there's always like kind of like it seems to be an action with the cards. So I really enjoy working with this deck. Um, I want to be able to show you the edges, but it's going to be hard to focus. Oh, those lavender edges. They're gorgeous. Um, there are a couple that say attend, but they have different, like, in parentheses words. So the one I got the other day was gut, and it had me walk through and do kind of like an awareness breathing um little exercise thing and it was it was super on point and i really enjoyed being like mindful um and then last of the shop decks is the this is the newest of new this is the death doula oracle i have been seeing this deck come up on my feed constantly and i've been i've just been so drawn to it i couldn't not Ugh. it is gorgeous and honestly the readings i've done with it so far ah eerie on point i've actually been using it with the somnia tarot i'm loving the combination this deck is beautiful as well and it's that it's photography collage um ugh. I really have been so drawn lately to photography decks and um, I guess I'm not surprised because I've always been um, very drawn to photography in general and then I just realized I forgot that this next set of decks are also shop decks but since I had it in the box that I don't carry I forgot that it was going to be a part of it um, I backed the Kickstarter for the box set but I have each deck individually in the shop. These are the Holly Oddly decks. Um, this is the Teeny Tiny Tarot. And I just, it's so funny because I feel like I say this a lot. I love the artwork of this deck because I do. I really do like a wide variety of art. And this is like creepy, cute, uh, simple, but it, it's in such a good way for me. I really love love the little skull i just love all the, all of the things about these decks um i like the limited color palette it's a mini deck you know how i feel <laughs> so like it already had a plus um, and this, this is dreams i believe i have all my decks maybe i'll give someone a heart attack but just like chilling all together so this is dreams and each of these mini divvies um i think there's six of them they this one has like hidden passages you can't run and hide forever um tree made of hummingbirds let yourself be transformed uninvited guests intrusive thoughts much i love dreams is a good one it has like a lot of good messages i'll actually show you a couple more Ooh. But the same idea, like simple, limited color palette, but and obviously it's the same artist, so the same creator. So the artwork is similar, and I do, I just love them. This is Curiosities, and again, little like kind of affirmation-like messages on it. There's um, a card, I don't have it in the deck because it's part of my favorites that are in the binder, um, but it's like a two-headed little duckling, and it's it's creepy cute. <laughs> I love it. Um, next, this is ghosts. 
I'm glad I actually recognize them too because this might be um, embarrassing if I didn't <laughs> because they're all together and I wouldn't be able to, it doesn't say anywhere um, which deck's which. Then we have messages. I like to take three of the decks, kind of put them together and then I wish I had it close by. I have a little mini bag from Moonlit Fae um, that I like to keep them in. Where is my little bag? Oh, actually. Boom. It's so cute. <laughs> then we have omens. Are these upside down? No. Okay. But all of them have their own color palette, I think, which is really cool. Like to keep easily to keep them like separated but you could shuffle these all together you could make a super deck out of this which would be really cool it'd be too hard to hold them all. Uh, maybe not all the mini divvies but if you added teeny tiny tarot and you you're outnumbered my friend i love opposites oh this is opposites by the way because i really love like black red and white like tricolor I don't know what it is. Um, there was a deck I used to have a very long time ago that I, I would kick myself for the rest of time for getting rid of it. It was the um, Persephone Tarot. It was the tricolor edition. I got rid of it very early on because it was way over my head. It was one of my, actually one of two of my first decks um, I was not ready for. And I got rid of it. And it's no longer in print and never will be again. And I could just kick myself because I do love that tricolor um, set up there. But that is the last of the decks that are currently in the shop. Moving forward, we're gonna do a couple decks that are either in consideration or kind of like patiently waiting. Um, this is the Lost Hollow. Now this is a deck that is low in stock from the creator and I have already reached out to find that, but um, future stocking would be possible if there is, and I think there is going to be a reprint. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because I did not intentionally pick this deck to go next, but I just got done saying how I love this tricolor. <laughs> Now this adds like some gray in, but st the same vibe. Um, I really like the um, anime-esque art. Ugh. It looks like, I want, <laughs> I want to like see the anime or like the movie, whatever it be. Like I want to see these characters like moving around i want to know like each of their backstories oh uh, uh, i think the lovers card was like one of the first cards i saw that just like stopped me and i was like wow um i've seen a lot of these uh that i've just really loved uh, i love i love these choices that were made in this deck and again it's just it might seem so different from some of the art that i love but i absolutely love it um in hopes that it will be in the shop someday um that's my cat over there chilling with my marshmallow a line um <laughs> affirmation um it's an affirmation oracle now this little cutie here um, was just a Kickstarter I backed and I am I could laugh because like it doesn't seem like after looking at the other decks like especially that last deck and then to be like I also really love this <laughs> which is like sweet cute like there's little um I think it's like let's see exactly what You'll notice that on each card, there is a layer of transparent holographic foil in the shape of a heart. Place your finger there to download it into your being. Um, 
but these affirmations are so special. There are five different um, categories and you'll see that in the different um, color backing. And it's reminders, self-love, healing, connection, and movement. And there's 77 of these cards in here, which is amazing. And it's just, it's a, it's a good affirmation. This is the biggest, littlest affirmation deck I've seen. And like, there's like a little guidebook. I mean, come on. <sighs> Another deck I would kill to have in the shop. Um, this is the Stunning Tarot. Now I had, this is another, like if I could kick the youth that is um, me in the butt. <laughs> this is one of them. I had the first edition um, a long time ago and I let a family member of mine um, convince me out of having this deck um, for absolute silly reasons, but I was a child. <laughs> I once was a child and didn't know, um, but I am older and wiser now. And I have the second edition, which I love how small this edition is in comparison to the first edition, but there are, um, there are changes in some of the cards, which has, it's been uh, interesting because I actually just got the second edition. This is the newest deck to the collection because I have just like recently in the last two weeks received and I've been obsessively uh, playing with it because I've missed it. Um, oh, I've missed this. This is a beautiful deck. I also have, um, you will see in a previous video, I have Gen um, Genasa's uh, tarot deck as well. Janasa Joss, I believe it's pronounced, but uh, now boy would I love if the other deck was this size because this is like perfect my hand size. I think um, some of my favorite artwork is from this creator and I actually I got this little um, Print. This is the Hecate My Own Version by Judasa Jaus. I am the goddess of the mist. I am responsible for maintaining the veil that separates the world of gods from the world of mortals. I think this is so beautiful. Oh, I have it sitting here on my, my altar. Last, I think, actually, um, this is a pre-order I backed. Now, I do have Crow Tarot in the shop. It's one of my mass market decks that I offer. Um, and I saw this, like, I think, it, oh, who's, whose video was I watching? Lisa, maybe? Um, I was watching a video and saw something about this deck and I'm like, this is the coolest idea. So it's like a yes or no kind of deck. Um, you pick one of the objects, one of the treasures and then find it in the book. And it has like a specific like answer depending on what you picked. Oh, I think that is so cool. Um, but yeah, it's just, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, as perfectly me, I have them upside down. <laughs> um, but I really, I I think that, again, so unique. I love a, I love a unique deck. Um, let's do one. I was thinking um, this one, we're gonna do the turtle. So you get kind of a vibe. Um, So in the front, you have the catalog. So uh, it's an alphabetical order to the catalog. So turtle, page 14. At the end of the rainbow, you will find a little luck to go with the answer now. <laughs> uh, I just think it's a really cool deck. Um, is there any other deck? probably one in a bag somewhere <laughs> in one of my purses or something but um I'm glad that you stayed here if you're still here um thank you for watching thank you for coming along with me 